So when we look at the geopolitics of the Middle East, we look at this crazy chess match. A lot of people view it primarily through the lens of the Sunni-Shia conflict. Now this is significant, but we need to understand some of the other players that are really forming what's unfolding. One of the primary conflicts that is unfolding right now is the conflict between Iran, which is largely Shia majority, ancient Persia, and the nation of Turkey. So throughout history, you look at all the way back in biblical history, you had the conflict between Medo-Persia and then Greece, which in biblical uh, terms was the word Yavan. It actually included much of modern day Turkey, Asia Minor. Uh, later you had the conflict between the Roman Empire and the Parthians. Again, the Euphrates River largely being that break point where the two empires are clashing. And then later you had the Byzantines and the Sassanids, and then you had the uh, Ottomans and the Safavids. Well, today you have Turkey and Iran that are clashing. And what a lot of people don't realize is that ISIS in so many ways is Turkey's junkyard dog. ISIS is Turkey's proxy in this larger regional conflict. So Turkey is giving logistical, military, financial support, allowing the free flow of these uh, recruited jihadis to come in through Europe, all over the world, through Istanbul, into Antioch, into Syria. And Turkey is using ISIS in its larger regional conflict against Iran, against the Kurds, and against Bashar Assad in Syria. And then on the other side, you have Iran, who is using, of course, Hezbollah in Lebanon. Now they're using the Houthi rebels in Yemen on the southern border of Saudi Arabia, uh, and of course, Assad in Syria. So there is a war that is breaking out right now in the Middle East. It's a conflict between Turkey and Iran, and it hasn't, come, it hasn't become a full-fledged military conflict, but I think there's a strong a uh, series of reasons why that very well could get there in the future. And so this is one of the big issues that uh, those watching the Middle East need to be paying attention to in the days ahead.